the key here is to, to, to do with long-term thinking and uh, Neil Woodford's always been a very long-term investor and in our philanthropic activities one of the things that we're looking at is long-term systemic advancement and change in the charity sector and one of the ways that you do that is by influencing the next generation. Business really has a very simple objective, it's a group of people that are gathered together with a view of generating a profit and therefore to work in a different sector, the charitable sector, was a really interesting experience and I guess it was my first experience of melding what I would call the good things of business and also the good things with charity and also some of the things that could be learnt from each other. To be able to speak to someone or hear from someone who has had a long shift in the city and now in uh, other parts of philanthropy and charity um, and just watch his story and how he's done things, ask him questions and to have the floor with him to see what his thought processes were, what did and didn't work is like a massive insight, so hugely helpful. But the thing fundamentally that we also want to do is we want to create a vehicle to fund a charity just under 1% of the net assets um, of the trust that we're creating. We're going to get paid into a charitable foundation and then we're going to use that money to basically generate a recurring income stream um, for the charity to fund it over the next 10 or 20 years. What we're trying to do is to plant a seed for them that at some point in their lives they will remember what they heard and it will influence their decision about how they give or volunteer or support charity or indeed it may even transform some people so they want to go and work for charities.